Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Fly Tying with HolsingerSlyShop.com. I'm Sean Holsinger, your host, and I got another tying video for you today. But before we do that, I got something I promised you. I, we had a giveaway I said about two weeks ago, and today is the day that we're going to draw the winner. So let's pick the winner before we get into tying today. So I got all the names in a hat here. We're just going to pick one out. Mix them up a little even better. And uh, Jude Martiak. So Jude Martiak, you're the winner. Um, I'll get in touch with you and uh, let you know, see what size of the shirt you want and what color hat you'd like to get. So now let's get into the fly tying. Today the pattern I'm going to tie is a dry fly. You guys got me on a kick here tying dry flies. And CDC again. I'm going to use CDC because for a long time I didn't use CDC because I just didn't have a good way of keeping it dry. We got some high end dry products in the shop now that do that really well. And uh, they've been fishing really well for me. So today I'm going to tie a caddis because there's also a lot of them in my area. Um, a tan caddis in particular. I'm going to try to match the tan caddis in my area. And you know mix and match like I always say. Mix and match to try to get the color that you want to do. What I'm teaching you is a technique, not a pattern. So use this technique to tie your CDC caddis and uh, just change the color to match the ones in your area. So here's a picture of it in the material list to tie it and uh, let's get into tying it. Okay, here you go, you see the fly in the vise. Pretty simple fly and uh, easy to tie. Let's get into tying it here. We're going to start out with a fire hole 419 in a size 14 hook. Tie this in a 14, a 16, you can even tie it in a 12 if you want, but I would tie it in a 14 or a 16. For thread, I'm using a 140 denier. 140 because later on I'm going to split the thread and it's going to make it a lot easier to do. And uh, I'm just using brown, you know, if you have an olive, whatever you want to would be fine here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a CDC feather, and I'm just going to place it on top of the hook, and I'm just going to wrap down like two times pretty loosely, and we're going to pull this out until we get this down to the tip here. Okay, once we get it down to the tip like that, we're going to wrap it back to the bend of the hook the rest of the way, and then I'm going to wrap over top of the tips there and wrap it down. Now I'm going to stop you know, about two-thirds of the way up here. You can see I about two eye lengths back and I am going to use my rotary tool here because it's going to make it a lot easier for me but I'm just going to take my CDC feather and I'm going to twist it. And by twisting it it's going to help me make my body here and as I go I'm going to keep twisting it so I try to trap down those fibers and have less stringy dangly ones hanging around there and we're just gonna wrap this up to where we stop that thread you know about two-thirds of the way up here because I want a good bit of room that's good because I want a good bit of room to make my wing with so there we have it. our body is made I'm gonna trim this off now you see I have a lot of scraggly ones here so we're just going to grab a hold of them and I'm going to pull them up top I'm just going to trim them off and I'm not going to worry real I'm not going to get real picky and worry about it being really nice and tight because the fish don't care if it's a little bit buggy looking so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more CDC fibers that first one was olive now I'm going to take some to make the wing case I'm going to take two colors I'm going to take olive all of CDC and some dyed wood duck and this is going to make my tan wing for it okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the feathers and I'm just going to peel them back go against the grain there peel them back make all those fibers stand out nice and straight and then I'll take and do the same thing with the green one and I'm going to do four of these feathers okay once I get four of them like that and I'm going to stack them on top of each other where they all go the same direction all the points you can see here 
all the points go the same, they're all the same length, and I got all the veins lined up together. Um, I need one more feather on here. There we go. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in my Stonfo clip. Or, this is a Pet Petrojohn tool, but I'm just going to put them in here, and I'll show you in the camera here. I'm going to leave a little bit of space between that stem and the gap. And that's a little bit big, but I'll tighten her up a little bit. Now I'm going to trim this off right along those stems. So let me do that, and I'll show you the close-up again here in a second. Okay, here I have it trimmed down, and you can see I trimmed it, I held all my feathers out to the end here, and I trimmed it off so there's just a little bit, and that's what we're going to use to make our loop. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to back my thread up a little bit, and I'm going to take a, a bodkin, and I'm just going to rub the thread to flatten it out, and you can see there that flattened it out pretty good, and already started to split it for me. So, now I'm just going to split that thread, and then I'm going to put my finger in between between it, okay? And then I'm going to make like a dubbing loop out of my split thread. So we're just going to put this in, and then I'm going to pull my finger out, and I'm going to slide this down, just so that thread pops in onto that CDC there. Once I get that done, then I'm going to take and I'm going to hold my finger right behind it. I'm going to spin my bobbin around to spin the thread here and get the thread wound up. And I'll leave it go and it's going to make a nice CDC brush. I'll spin that just a little more. Okay, now that I got my nice CDC brush there, I'm just going to wrap this on and this is going to make the wing. So when I get it here and I'm going to, when I get it right to where it starts wrapping on, I'm going to take this brush. And with every wrap, I'm going to pull it back and up. So, pull it back and up again. And it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to put most of those fibers on top of the hook and make that wing like we want it. And now, I can wrap it over itself a little bit here. That's fine, because I want to get as much as I can on here. And each wrap, like I said, we're pulling it back and up and teasing it in that direction. So we get it looking like that tent wing of a caddis. Alright, then once we get it up to the eye, we're just going to create a nice head here. And we're going to whip finish it. Okay, once we have the whip finish done, now I'm going to tease it a little bit more and I'm going to try to get all these fibers up on top like they pretty much are. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to pull these long fibers. You see there's a couple really long ones so I'm just going to trim them off. Get them all like the same length like a caddis is. And then I'm going to come in on the bottom and what happens is on the bottom this is the short end of those CDC fibers where they end up because I couldn't pinch them up on top. So I'm just going to come in on the bottom and trim them off so it will lay flat on the water just like a caddis will. And there you can see that was not a hard hard one to tie. It will just take a little bit of practice and uh, makes that nice tent caddis silhouette there. Okay, as you saw there, that was a pretty easy fly to tie. Um, just takes a little bit of practice working with that dubbing loop and splitting your thread and... Uh, you know, one of those tools helps out a lot too. Uh, I use the Stonfo, or sorry, I actually use the Pet Petrojohn tool, but we also carry the Stonfo clip in the shop, and I use that a lot too. So whatever's handy is what I grab. They both work the same. It's not, uh, the Petrojohn's not really any better. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. So 
Um, use whichever one that you have or, you know, you like whatever. And uh, mix the colors. Like I said before, mix the colors to match the hatch in your area. What I showed you is a technique. And use those techniques to tie tie good flies. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, thank you for getting me over a million views again. And um, please take the time to tune in to our YouTube channel, our Facebook and Instagram page, and don't forget about our podcast at bugsandbeardpodcast.com. So thanks for watching everybody. Until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger. <laughs>